Hola a todos, me llamo Datai y soy Azul la Badia Datai. Anywho, um, today, well, we're kind of done on Cinnabar, unfortunately. It's my favorite area, but it's just so short. Um, so we're surfing upwards north to the great El Norte place. Oh crap, I've got to put in our pals. Anyway, you might notice a slight color difference. Um, that's due to various reasons. And why are there pals? Pal, pal, pal. Why do I always miss her? There's my pals. There we go. That's for certain reasons involving brown. But anyway, we got a bunch of swimmers. We'd have seen a lot more swimmers in the uh, route between Seafoam and Cinnabar, but I skipped over them. And I'm not going to go back for them, because that would kind of ruin a lot of the fun. And we get to see Cedra. I love Cedra. Cedra's so awesome. So yeah, you should be hearing the uh, background noises at two times speed. I honestly expected things to be a lot more chaotic with all the crazy beeping, but... It's not too bad, you can still somewhat recognize the tunes. And people were in support of it, so don't blame me. And close to your own now, tune. I am so glad that Dora can learn Thunderbolt. It makes things so much easier for me. Oh, I'll get you a hit. That, 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 that came out wrong. Especially since he's so fat. That's a pretty cool sequence, sprite. But I will not result, resort to expletives in order to describe it. I can... I can never understand a, a fisherman using the term burned. Like, shouldn't he be using some sort of water pun instead? So yeah, water. Oh, hey guys. Yay, more sea dry. I love sea dry. Sea dry so awesome. Like the entire sea dry line is pretty like, oh my god, it, whoa. That's tenth girl sprite is like, oh my god. It's like it's got a headache or something. Anyway, horsey is just like. Amazingly cute. Cedra is like amazingly awesome in every single way imaginable. Kingdra isn't very visually appealing, but it kicks ass on rain dance teams. I need to stop abusing Thunderbolts on the weaker stuff. So, what is a cue ball doing here? Like, I, I, shouldn't he be. I like, guess he's fat enough that his fat would make him float, but it's. Doesn't seem like it is prime, uh, prime place, you know? It's like they wanted one cue ball, or one cue ball to set strike out against society of cue balls. I know, on this side, this guy. This guy. This guy. God damn this guy. I really should have seen this coming. I did not remember that this guy was here. Like, EV training doesn't really exist in this generation. There is no purpose for this. Yeah, he's going right. Uh, yeah, they're biting, actually, I know, because uh, they fought me earlier slightly. I was going to say something about the pals, but the joke just kind of died. Anyway, when am I, when am I going to get it to use uh, Toxic? I want to make use of that. I suppose Toxic is more of a kind of a stalling thing, and hopefully I won't have to resort to that too much, but oh, I, I want to be able to use it somehow. Okay. 
go. Here you can get Tangela. And some other stuff that I don't care about. But anyway, you recognize this place? Hey, we're back. How's it going? And we're leaving. Let's get on the bike. I don't like I care. Yeah, I care. Honestly, I'm probably wasting just as much time. So now that we're here, uh, we can go over here. Use cut here. Oh, that's a wrong move. And then we can take the path through Diglett Cave. What's this stuff? Moonstone, not gonna use it. No more room for items, not gonna use it. Uh, this guy, I think, is the guy who gives you Flash, yeah. Don't need it. Uh, there. Now, I'll set up the repels. So this place basically is a whole bunch of Diglett, and if you're really lucky, you'll run into a Doug Trio. But, uh, don't bet on it. Anyway, I suppose my next... Uh, I, I really need to remember I haven't fought these guys. My next destination will be Saffron, and this really wasn't the best route to take, actually. I'll go back and up north. There we go. Okay, back this way. So yeah, like I was saying, the next destination is Saffron, because there's really not much more I can do other than... Go to Saffron, deal with the Silk Corporation, and inevitably get incredibly frustrated against the gym. But Silk Corporation comes first. Alright, there. And I suppose that's all for this episode. Um, go watch the Brown episode if you haven't already. And I suppose. Oh, was I have time to read the Darwin Award? Go for... I don't know, it's kind of short, but it involves airplanes, apparently. Now with an arm roll mention, I can't go for that. That's the first count. Uh, Return to Tree Fails. Return, confirmed by Darwin, uh, the 18th of February, 2002, in Hawaii. Millennia after evolving, human species descended from the trees. Uh, after million, millennia after an evolving human species descended from the trees, 30-year-old Joshua reversed the process, removing himself from the gene pool while perched in the tree. Joshua hiked several miles onto a ranch and climbed a koa tree under cover of darkness, intent on stealing a branch of the expensive native hardwood. To his credit, he was smarter than a classic cartoon character and didn't make the mistake of cutting the branch supporting him. However, he was not smart enough to avoid cutting the branch directly above his head. The severed limb struck him and killed him. Authorities found his body still in the tree, suspended 20 feet off the ground. Famous last words. Seemed like a good idea, but I don't know. That one's kind of dull. But, uh... Uh... Well, that's fine. Whatever. Yeah, I suppose that's all for this segment. I'll see you next time for the Self Corporation.